Now, one of the biggest issues with the Amazon Fire TV devices is the very limited Amazon App Store. Well, imagine you can access the entire Google Play Store directly from your Amazon device and get access to over 3.5 million applications. Applications, games like this, utilities, works great on all of your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, Android TV devices, all of them can access the entire Play Store and really just get access to some of the best applications that are available out there. All you need to do is just hit that, oops, just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the second generation Fire TV Cube, which runs Fire OS 7, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device or Android TV. So I'm going to open up Downloader, and we're now going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can always type in the short code 534, zero two let's type that in and click on go and this will take you directly to my website now when you get to my site if you head over to the hamburger menu which is the one with the three lines let's click on that then click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can access the entire google play store regardless of your device Let's open that up. Here we are, so access the entire Google Play Store using the Aurora Store, which is a completely free application, gives you full access to that entire store. You'll see all of the applications in there. You can search for applications and you can even spoof your device. So typically when your device makes a connection to the Google Play Store, Google Play Store checks your current device ID and based on that device ID, you'll then see appropriate applications. But using the Aurora store, we can even spoof a different device, like maybe a Google Pixel phone or maybe a tablet or maybe another device. And using their device ID, you get access to even more applications. So I can now scroll down. Here's a step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable those developer options. Underneath all of that, we should have a link. Now, the application does require you to use a virtual mouse. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm on Fire OS 7 on my second generation Fire TV Cube. And on that device, I can just use the mouse toggle APK from here, which is this link here. Now, if you have a newer device, like maybe the third generation Fire TV Cube or the second generation Fire TV Max, you need to follow the steps in this video here the second one. And if you're doing this on the latest Android TV device, which I did cover yesterday, you need to follow the steps in the video here, which is the third one in the list. And that will get you a virtual mouse on your device. I already have that on my device. So all I need to do is just click on the Aurora store, click on that. I can then scroll down. It's a very small application. I can click on download now, and this will download the latest version directly onto my device. Yep, yeah, it's only just six meg in size, but it does give you that direct access to the Google Play Store. And let's just click on install. Give that a second. The application has now been installed. I can click on done. Let's now press the home button. And there is the new Aurora Store. Let's now open that for the first time. We've got some options here, so let's just click on next. I can click on next, leave the defaults, and let's leave the default theme, next again, next again. You've got some options here, let's click on next again. Now for the permissions, you will actually see a prompt when you try to download your first application, which I will demonstrate. So for now, let's click on finish. Now here you have some options of logging in. Now, um, if you have previously purchased an application, you can potentially log in with your own Google credentials, but personally in my testing, I just go for the anonymous option. Let's go for this one here. So you don't have to provide any credentials and you should be able to log in to the Google Play Store using that anonymous login. Let's give that a second. And here we are guys, we have now the full access, complete access to the Google Play Store. But for me to navigate around, I need to bring up my virtual mouse. So again, on the Fire OS 6 and 7 devices, 
I've got the standard mouse toggle, which is version 1.0.6. I can just double press the play button, one, two, and there we can see at the bottom is my virtual mouse. So I can now move around. Uh, you've got this is the app section here. I can now scroll down by pressing the forward key. So here we've got entertainment applications. You've got uh, TV applications, movie applications, editor choice. You've got VLC there. You've got video editors, video players. You've got tools and utilities. All of that's being directly accessed from the Google Play Store. Now, I will demonstrate quickly how we can do the spoofing. So if I go to the hamburger menu on the top left, let's click on that. Just to show you how the apps appear differently once we spoof a different device. So let's now scroll down and click on the spoof manager. Let's click on that. And we now see a bunch of devices. And this is basically asking which device do you want to spoof? So the Google Play Store will think that, for example, it's a, a Google Pixel 3a that's trying to connect in. So in fact, just for argument's sake, let's go for that device there. So I'm going to click on the checkbox next to that. Uh, let's click on that. It says you must re-log in to apply that spoof. Let's do that now. So give that a second. And we can see now we get completely different type of applications because now the Google Play Store thinks is actually a Pixel device that's trying to connect in. We get access to different applications here. We've got some different kind of games, different kind of things. You've got access to Discord and WhatsApp and Telegram. Now for a test, let's actually try to install something. So Let's install that game, which I really like, so you can play it directly with a, a standard controller. I can go to games at the bottom. I now see the game charts. Uh, let's just go to the search on the right. Let's click on that. Now, the game that I was playing in the intro is called, I think it's Faster Than a Fox, but if you just type in Fox, I think that should bring it up. There we go. we got Fast Like a Fox there. So let's now click on that. So it's a free application, it's 60 meg in size. I can now go to where it says install, click on that. We can see that then commences the download. Give that a second. And it's now telling you that you must give the Aurora store permissions so you can install applications through it. So let me now disable the virtual mouse, click on settings, go back to install unknown apps. Just need to find the Aurora store in the list. Here we are, and I can now just set this to on. That's now done. I can now go back, back again, and let's now click on install again. And this time there shouldn't be any errors. I can click on install, give that a second. And we've now installed an application directly from the Google Play Store directly onto my second generation Fire TV Cube. And we can confirm that with that prompt there. So I can now press the home button, go back to the app library. And let's just see if it's actually installed correctly. Here we are, let's click on that. Like I said, this doesn't require any kind of third party gamepad or controller. All of the controls are done just with the standard D-pad and select button. I can now go to play. Uh, let's go for the fox. We're in the cloud temple. I can now press right on the D-pad, press select to jump. And there we are guys, we're now playing a game which we installed directly from the Google Play Store on our Amazon YTV Cube. And that's working great. I do think this is a really great application. It would be even better if it didn't require a virtual mouse, but even if you don't want to use a mouse toggle, you can always plug in or use a Bluetooth mouse just to navigate around. But the fact that you can access over 3.5 million applications from your Amazon devices, from any of your Android devices, I definitely think the Aurora store is worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.